If you've recently upgraded your router and the old one isn't broken, you might be wondering if there's something useful you can still do with the old one. As it turns out, there are actually a number of cool things you can do with an old router. Many of those things depend on custom firmware. Firmware is the hardwired software on the system that can only be altered by reflashing the memory. Every router manufacturer decides what features should be enabled in the firmware. So even if your router's hardware is capable of something, the factory firmware may switch it off. By installing custom firmware, you can unlock all your router's features without being forced to buy a more expensive model. Sadly, not every model can use custom firmware. Check the router database for DDWRT and OpenWRT to see if yours is compatible. You can use your old router for LAN gaming. It seems that nowadays everyone's into online multiplayer games, but there's still nothing like sitting in a room full of friends and having a good old LAN party. Most routers have between 4 and 6 Ethernet ports, so it's simply a matter of plugging every system into the router with an Ethernet cable and you should be good to go. Some modern games won't let you LAN without an internet connection, but this is the ultimate way to play over a network for many current and classic games. No lag, no excuses. You can use an old router for extra Ethernet ports. You can use your second router as a way to expand the number of Ethernet ports you have available. There's some prep work involved in turning your old router into a simple network switch. Some routers make it easy by having a mode toggle in the firmware. You may also gain access to the necessary features using custom firmware. If you want to manually tweak your router to act as a switch, you'll have to give it a specific IP address that doesn't conflict with the primary router. Then, turn off Wi-Fi and disable DHCP so that the master router alone can assign IP addresses. You'll have to spend a few minutes on Google to figure it out, but it's worth the expense and waste to avoid by buying a switch when the old router will do just fine. You can use an old router as an access point. An access point is a way to extend your internet connection from your primary router to another device that acts as a Wi-Fi hotspot with its SSID. One key advantage of an access point configuration is that devices connected to the second router can't talk to devices connected to the primary router. So it's perfect for sharing an internet connection with, for example, a room or a flatlet that's being rented out. It's also an easy way to give internet access to far-flung devices that only need an internet connection, such as a smart TV. Generally, it isn't hard to set up an access point. Just put the two routers in place, connect them with a length of ethernet cable, and configure the second router to access point mode in its settings. You can also turn your old router into a wireless repeater. So far, we've talked about connecting two routers using an ethernet cable, but what about connecting them using Wi-Fi? Depending on whether your router supports it, you can set the second router to use wireless bridge mode or wireless repeater mode, depending on the specific language used. This will let you expand your Wi-Fi footprint in much the same way as a dedicated off-the-shelf Wi-Fi repeater. Naturally, you'll have the same limitations, such as only getting half the bandwidth through the repeater and being limited to whatever frequency bands the old router supports. For more cool things that you can do with an old router, check out the article link below. See you next time.